After the Orlando Magic got a big win in game one of the preseason at the Smoothie King Center over the New Orleans Pelicans, now they're going to be looking to get another win in the preseason tonight versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. But that's not the big news surrounding this team as of right now. Hoops Hype polled 25 NBA executives as they were asked to list their top three breakout candidates for the 2023 season. And coming in at number one was Orlando's very own Franz Wagner. Now I will go ahead and actually link down to the article below so that you guys can actually go ahead and check it out. But each executive, like I said, was asked to list at least three potential breakout candidates for the season. And coming in with 34.4% of the votes was Orlando's Franz Wagner. But let's actually go ahead and go down the list and take a look at some of the other potential breakout candidates that these NBA executives listed off. So at number one, you had Franz Wagner. Number two, Kate Cunningham. Number three, Jalen Green. Four, Mikhail Bridges. Number five, Evan Mobley, six, Shaden Sharp, seven, Jabari Smith Jr., who could have been a magic, number eight, Keegan Murray, and tied for ninth place was Austin Reeves and Desmond Bain. And I do think Desmond Bain gets a lot more of a larger role now that John Morant's going to be suspended for the first 25 games of the season. Getting back to the point with Franz Wagner, though, let's actually go ahead and take a look at Larry Nance Jr., who also showed a lot of love and support for Franz Wagner and this Orlando team. Larry Nance had tweeted out, random thought, Franz Wagner is a top three underappreciated talent in the league. Watch Orlando this year. They're going to be a lot of fun. And I just want to give a big shout out to Larry Nance Jr., the entire New Orleans Pelicans, you know, organization and fan base. They seem like a great group of people and collectively they showed a lot of respect to Orlando so we show respect right back. Larry Nance Jr. wasn't lying because if you look at this Orlando Magic team and the amount of depth and the core pieces that they have in their nucleus there's got to be a lot of internal expectations and there should be a lot of internal expectations for this fan base and for this team to go ahead and make a playoff push this season and I've been on record I've said it once I'm going to say it yet again Franz Wagner is a borderline all-star this season and he's going to be an all-star this season alongside Paolo Bancaro. The Orlando Magic will have two all-stars this upcoming season. If you look at what Franz Wagner has done since coming into the league back in 2021 as the eighth overall pick, a pick that we acquired from the Chicago Bulls, so thank you Chicago, he's been nothing short of great and he's exceeded expectations. He is a modern day forward who is positionless. He fits the mold of a guy who can handle the ball, step out of the three point line, run the pick and roll, run an offense. He's got an extremely high IQ, defensive versatility, everything that you wanna see from a young forward at six foot 10 who can literally run the floor and run an offense. He is the modern day positionless forward that you wanna see in today's NBA offense. And it's not just about what he did in his sophomore campaign where Franz Wagner averaged 18, four and three on 48, 36, 84 splits. Take a look at what he did this off season playing for Germany. He helped lead Germany to a FIBA World Cup championship and he was all FIBA World Cup second team this summer. And it's not just hoops hype that actually believes in Franz Wagner. Take a look at ESPN's top 100 players going into the 2023 season. This list came out just a couple of days ago. They ranked Franz Wagner at 52 overall and they ranked Paolo Bancaro at number 30 overall. We know he's only gonna continue to go up that list. And briefly talking about Paolo Bancaro, we don't need to discuss too much in depth how phenomenal his rookie season was, how he had the best rookie season and the best rookie campaign since the likes of LeBron James. Bancaro put together 40 20 point plus performances in his rookie season, the most that we've seen since LeBron James, which was the exact number LeBron had back in 03, 04. Paolo Bancaro is the face of this franchise and one of the young dominant players in the game today. He's only gonna continue to ascend and especially having a number two and having a second fiddle with a guy like Franz Wagner who has all-star capabilities and will be an all-star this Orlando Magic core is in the right hands under Jamal Mosley. They've got a great nucleus, and Paolo Bencaro and Franz Wagner are going to be the two catalysts for the Orlando Magic moving forward. Just want to give them a big shout out, man, because expect big things from them this upcoming season. And the last thing I'm going to say to wrap up this video is that if you guys did not see 
ESPN had actually disrespected the entire Orlando Magic team as a whole. I won't tell you exactly what it is, but I did make a video talking about it. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out that video, I will go ahead and link to it up above so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. But Magic fans, thank you guys again for sticking around throughout the whole video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop us a thumbs up. It takes one second and it helps me and the channel out tremendously. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Orlando Magic content that we do here on YouTube. And make sure you guys also go ahead and follow me, Brett James, and Orlando Magic HQ on all of our socials especially on twitter we're both very active and we're on there every single day the link tree will be in the description down below so that you guys can go ahead and check that out but magic fans thanks again for sticking around throughout the whole video brett james aka bj i'm out y'all go magic baby peace